Season 9 has just released on Roblox Bed Wars. The devs added a ton of new kits, lots of gameplay mechanics, and a lot more. In this video, I'll go over every single thing added in the update. Can we get 6,892 likes on this video? Go to and smash that like button. And if you're new, subscribe. It does help out a ton. Let's go ahead and get started. Starting off first with a brand new lobby. I love the color scheme so much. This does remind me of a fairy tale. We have a brand new battle pass with a ton of different items i'm giving away 10 season 9 battle passes here is how to enter you must like this video you have to subscribe turn on that bell and set it to all watch the entire video to the end then comment your roblox username winner chosen in tomorrow's video good luck season 9 added four brand new kits since this is a pretty long video i do have video chapters feel free to skip to any segment the first kit is level 20 in the battle pass it is the mini kit. This does require the premium battle pass. All right, so this is the kit skin. This does remind me of a cat. Ignore everything in the background. I will explain that later in the video. Playing as a Yamini kit, walking up to a wall, you can instantly just climb it. You don't even need any blocks. Next up, all of your fall damage is reduced by one half. The devs brought back 100 HP. Reduced fall damage does help out a ton. Lastly, this kit has a special ability called Pounce. There is a 7 second cooldown. Think of it like an Electra Dash. When you pounce onto a player, it does do 10 damage plus 2 DKs of 7 for a total of 24 damage. This does apply the DK effect, meaning that over time your health will DK. How much armor pen does the ability have? We will test total damage. To no armor, it does 24 damage. A player with leather armor, it does 18 damage. I believe this kit does have a 70% armor penetration. Can the ability make you take no fall damage? All right, here we go. And looks like it does not. However, you can delay your fall damage just by delaying the ability. This kit can climb walls. You take half of your fall damage. And then we have the pounce ability. So that's the level 20 mini kit. This is a movement kit. I rate this kit a 9 out of 10. It's a lot of fun to use. The next kit in the battle pass is called Cogsworth. This is a free kit for all players, plus it's economy class. All right, so this is a kit skin. I'm getting those engineering vibes. In the shop, there are Demi X1 and Emmy Z2. Demi X1 costs 80 iron. Emmy Z2 costs 2 emeralds. You can only hold 4 of each at a time. When playing as this kit, make sure to build bridges to the diamond and emerald generator. You will see why in just a second. Once you have built the bridges with our two robots, the Demi robots collect diamonds for me while the Emmy ones collect emeralds for me. Starting with a diamond one, if I launch that thing out, it will follow my bridge going to the diamond gens. This is so adorable. Once it has diamonds, it comes back to your base, making its way all the way to your team crate, placing it inside. I just got two diamonds. And this kit does all of the work for you. By the way, the Emmy does the exact same thing. Thing. instead it gets emeralds the robots can also jump blocks sometimes they are just really dumb bro is staring in the corner the robots can jump over things except for that one it just failed bro these robots are so stupid below the recall button the game will tell me how many robots are still alive by the way enemy players can break your robots the emerald robots have 150 hp while the diamond ones only have just 100 poor robots they can't even fight back if a player drops loot on the ground, the robots can pick it up. If a player kills the robot, they receive all of the loot. Although this kit does help you out, focus on making strong bridges and let your robots do all the work. However, I'm not done just yet. This kit has a special ability called Overclock. Your robots will start zapping enemy players nearby and they also go a lot faster. This will only last for 5 seconds. So that is the level 30 cogs work kit. I rate this kit a 7 out of 10. On my Discord server, we are giving away three more Season 9 Battle Passes. My server is linked in the description. Go ahead and check it out. The next kit is level 40 in the Battle Pass. It is called Noel. This is a premium Battle Pass kit. So this is the kit skin. This does have the festive vibes. In the shop, Noel has four different slimes. Blessed, Void, Sticky, and Frosty. Each one costs two emeralds. 
Once you buy all your slimes, you keep them forever. You could use the slimes all by yourself. If you take out your flute, you can decide what teammate gets what slime. Using the cycle keybind, it will switch between my slimes. Wherever my camera is pointing, that will have a green circle. Whatever slime is currently selected on that particular player, if I press F, the player now has the slime. Pressing F will also remove it. Now let's talk about the slimes. The first slime is the healing slime. Every second, the slime will heal a player. The more the slime is used, the stronger it gets. The max is 17%. To see your progress being made, next to the slime, there's a card. Next, we have the void slime. This will boost your player damage. The slime can be upgraded. The max is 22%. The next slime is called the sticky slime. Being somewhat close to a diamond or emerald generator, I can pick up the loot at farther range. By the way, this does not work for iron generators. Besides that, this slime does have one more ability. When picking up loot, there's a chance that I could duplicate it. The more the slime is used, the chance will always increase. The max is 25%. The last slime is the frosty slime. By damaging a player, I will slow them down. Let me show you my POV. If a player has the frost slime, when they attack you, the slime will apply. The slowness will only apply for a second or two. You can't just keep spamming it. There is a small cooldown. The max upgrade of the frosty slime is 50% that must be very annoying if someone has that if a player dies with the slimes will they still have them on respawn all right here we go it looks like they are going back to me if i die do i lose my own slimes and the answer is going to be no that's the noel kit on roblox bed wars one phenomenal support kit now time for the tier 50 kit of season 9 his name is tara and this is another premium battle pass kit tara is in the fighter class after a bit of testing this kit is honestly one of the best in the entire game in order to achieve that it takes a lot of time this kit is kind of complicated there's a block stomp ability wherever you are on the map you can smash down the ground it takes away five blocks temporary gone from the map the ability has a 35 second cooldown at first the blocks don't do that much damage the more I shoot the blocks, they do a lot more damage. If I get the exact same block again, it will now do 20 damage and keep going up from there. So I have no idea what the limit is. You can possibly do infinite damage. The ability will break any block in the game except for a few. You can literally break ceramic and obsidian. Shooting on my blocks, the damage will only keep increasing from here. At the start of the match, this kit is pretty weak. It takes time to become OP. It's kind of hard to aim as the block kit. Just go in first person, leave your curse to aim at the player you will never miss your shots if a player is chasing you to smash the ground the ability does do 10 damage on its own spamming your blocks will do a ton of player damage besides the ability there is something special about the kit when i have blocks in my possession if a player damages me i will take half of the damage but it breaks one of the blocks wooden sword is 20 damage it only does 10 damage but one block is going away the block kit kind of acts like a shield. If a player has a bed defense, use your ability to take away most of it. Can the blocks break other blocks? And the answer is going to be no. Lastly, how far can you throw a block? This kit does have some type of range. It's probably 100 blocks. If I'm doing 22 damage to leather armor, the next block should do 23. If the player has no armor, they take... 31 damage this kid does have a pretty good armor penetration in order for the block damage to increase you must hit the player if you miss the player then the block damage won't increase keep in mind that every block does the exact same damage the blocks are just for cosmetics i do have one more final question do gloop stop the ability and the answer is no i can still use my abilities just fine so that's the terror kit on roblox bed wars this is a 9 out of 10 so that's all four of the new season 9 kits comment down below which one's your favorite if you have not already noticed there is new music in the lobby full video on my channel about that the new season added a ton of new gameplay mechanics. Let's go over all of them added. Starting first with the map. In front of every player's base, there is a diamond gen. On the doubles game mode, it's shared. Instead of having diamond gens on the corners, they are now emerald generators. Lastly, at the center of the map, there are two diamond gens and two emerald gens. I do have some sad news. All of the Bed Wars maps did get removed. There's only a few in the game at the moment. We just have to wait. 150 HP is removed. The game is back to 100 HP. 
Another big Bed Wars W. The forge is removed. And same for the weapons. In the diamond upgrade shop, few changes here. First up, the devs have removed destruction and diamond gen. There's a new upgrade called era. Lastly, the damage upgrade received a diamond nerf. It's a lot cheaper now. Let's talk about era. In all of your Bed Wars matches, certain items are locked. Quick heads up, all of the era upgrades do give you more damage and destruction. To receive them, you must get the age. The first one does cost two diamonds. It unlocks ceramic, fireballs, and the iron axes. Once I unlock that, I can now purchase those in the shop. Next is tier 2, which is diamond age. You unlock obsidian, crossbow, diamond picks, and your siege TNT. There is some good news about this. Stone, iron, and diamond swords, plus armor up to diamond is not locked by the shop. Buying the tier 2 diamond upgrade, you also receive the enchantment table. But you can only get a basic enchantment. At the same time, basic enchantments are 30 less iron. The next age is the emerald age. You unlock the emerald sword, emerald armor, and the headhunter. Once you have the emerald age, you now have the advanced enchantments which only cost two emeralds by the way the emerald sword does have the emerald shield you may think this is it well there is a tier 4 era which costs 32 diamonds and this is honestly insane when you buy this upgrade the tier 4 era upgrade gives you a ton of destruction plus extra damage at the same time something happened to the enchantment table when rolling an enchantment you receive two at the exact same time. There is something good about enchantments. Enchantments now have a timer. You can't keep them forever. They only last for three minutes. The economy feels so much better now. Since the diamond gen upgrade did get removed, there is something new about diamond gens. Players can capture them. There's a little block here. Once it goes down, by standing in the generator, you will claim it. Once you claim it, for the next one minute and 30 seconds, all diamonds that do spawn, instead of spawning here, the diamonds will go to your team generator. If your team gen is full, they go to your inventory. This makes collecting diamonds a lot easier. The devs have made the emerald and diamond spawning a lot longer. However, both gens do have their own tiers. Throughout the entire game, the general upgrade, making the loot spawn a lot quicker. It does say in the top left corner, it's a tier 6 diamond generator. The same applies to emerald gens too. In the new Bedwars economy, focus on claiming diamond gens. When killing the titan, he receives his wings. This gives players 20% more damage for a few minutes. The devs did add one more thing. When having titan's blessing, you are now immune to all test coils there's something new called bed plating players don't really like this i don't find it that bad for the first six minutes of the game players have a protective shield on their bed plating has the exact same health as a bed once you break the plating the bed now has a 20 second shield it's not gone just yet once the shield is gone you can break the bed the plating only lasts for six minutes after six minutes every player will lose their plating it's just a protective shield early game when you do break the bed plating your team gen becomes hyperized one bed plate gave me 30% more speed. The number does stack. Every bed adds 10% more. Hyper Eyes will last for the entire game. That's a great buff. In the bed workshop, the devs removed two items. The radioactive plants and the landmines are both gone. There is something new called the Monarch. Four minute, 30 second mark of the match. The Monarch will spawn, kind of similar to the Titan. He does a ton of damage. He has three different attacks. Once you kill him, you receive the golden egg. You must bring this back to your base. If you die, you lose it. Once you get near your base, the egg will automatically go in a nest. The golden egg does have a buff. You deal 1% more damage per stack. A wooden sword is 20 damage. I am now doing 22 damage. When killing a player, I receive one more stack. Not only just that, sometimes you randomly receive eggs. The more eggs, the more damage you do. On top of the goose, there is a timer. One percent damage add is not that much it will take a lot of kills to get stronger by the way you can't spawn kill players there is a cooldown once the timer is gone or if you do die you still keep the golden egg once the timer is up it is forever gone there is one good thing about it you keep all of your stacks for the entire game when the goose does despawn you receive a ton of free golden eggs the monarch will spawn two times before the titan comes when a player has the golden goose it puts a giant target on their back because 
because every player can see it in the lobby. With any golden eggs, you will keep that damage for the entire game. Without a golden goose, you can't earn any more eggs. I guess this is fairly balanced. You will never lose this buff in the game. There's currently a bug on Bed Wars. Whenever the match starts, every player's generator has 40 iron. This is not a new gameplay mechanic, it's just a bug. So those are all the new Season 9 mechanics. Players seem to love these. These are the free kits of the week. Axel Little Amy, Conqueror, Fisherman, and for player level 20 is Diner Tamer Dom. Now for game modes, Hypergen is gone, but we do have all the same kit. The kits change every hour. If you get very lucky, you can try the new kits for free. Season 8 ranked has finally ended. The new season starts next week. Depending on your placement, there are rewards. They will be distributed in two weeks. 5v5 and 30v30 are gone. They will be back soon. The devs didn't have enough time to revamp them. With all of the new Battle Pass kits, you cannot rent them. Since Season 8 has just ended, you are able to now rent those kits. Here comes the main question. Since the forge did get removed, what happened to the Talia kit? When it comes to the chicken upgrades, they are now in the era tab. Because of 100 HP, the Fortuna and Elder kit both got nerfed. The base damage is adjusted. There's currently a weird bug on Bed Wars. When joining a Bed Wars match, every single time your team color will keep changing. By the time you're watching this video, it's probably fixed. Last up today, let's talk about the Battle Pass Cosmetics. I don't care about the titles and emotes. I'm going over the kill effects, lobby gadgets, and the animated emotes. I'm currently in game with the AC mod J Squire. He is here to help out. He dropped me all the new lobby gadgets. Level 1 in the premium battle pass, we have the Headhunter. It's just the Headhunter. Level 25 in the premium battle pass, we have the Can of Beans. These will launch you forward. Level 37 in the free pass is the Hunter's Echo. Holding down with this thing, it will make a sound effect. You can see where every player in the lobby is. By the way, only you can hear the sound. Sounds. Lastly, level 45 is the flying broom. Fly around anywhere in the lobby. It is a lot easier to explore the lobby. Let's go over the dance emotes. Level 15 in the battle pass is the cotton 4k emotes. Oh my goodness. I love that so much. Level 24 in the free pass gives you the eating popcorn emotes. Now you can join all of the Bed Wars drama. Lastly, level 40 in the premium battle pass is the get sturdy emote. Look at those dance moves. You will definitely get that riz. Last up, we have three new kill effects level 10 in the battle pass is the giant glove i spawned a hand and it made a thumbs up level 19 in the free pass is the broom sweep kill effect i don't think that's working it might just be a bug there will be a separate video on that kill effect lastly level 35 in the premium pass is the portal i think i found my new favorite kill effect that is awesome because of 100 hp Players were dying quickly. The devs nerfed a ton of kits, enchantments, and items. They also reduced the diamond gen speed. The goose will now respond to your honks. So that is season 9 on Roblox Bed Wars. I have a lot of amazing videos planned on the season. Drop a like and subscribe so you do not miss them. Use Starcombot and buying Robux, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.